what can I do to help? I need to do something about that. I want to help other people have joy the way that I find joy. A custom designed art and mindfulness kit for young people that was shipped directly to their doors across my home province of Nova Scotia. So hi, my name is Kayla Bernard. I'm a 26 year old Rover Scout from Scouts Canada from the community of Speganagati First Nations in Nova Scotia. So my Messengers of Peace project was born out of the COVID-19 pandemic. So in May of 2020, when everybody was asked to stay at home, myself included, um, and the young people that I work with, this was to stop the spread of the virus. But we didn't fully know at that time what the impacts of isolation was going to have on children and youth in Canada. And we quickly began to realize that isolation was affecting them just as it was affecting adults. We have seen increased rates of anxiety, depression, and just feelings of loneliness because they're isolated away from their friends and peers and all of their community supports. One of the most touching stories I received came from a mother um, who was fleeing domestic violence with her son. And she had requested the kit before they had left um, their abuser's home. And when they got to the new safe spot where they were, they brought up the kit to reflect on gratitude together um, because they were now safe together. They were able to do some activities together to ground the child into the new environment. So my project is called Heart in a Box, and it is a custom designed art and mindfulness kit for young people that was shipped directly to their doors across my home province of Nova Scotia. Each kit contained an art medium for youth to explore. And some of the popular ones were clay kits, watercolor kits, origami, friendship bracelets, and even journaling. So it really lets youth create in the way that works best for them. Um, alongside the art supplies were mindfulness resource cards that I've been working with young people in my community to co-create. So they were helpful coping skills that could help young people cope with stress in their community. And they gave resources to parents to also do the skills along with them and cope together. But since doing my project and be, um, being involved in service, I gained a lot of confidence. And that confidence allowed me to use my voice and speak up um, about things that I was seeing in my National Scout organization that I wanted to change. And for me, that last summer, that was about reconciliation between Canada and its Indigenous people. And so I reached out to my National Scout organization and they asked me to sit on their board of directors. I am the first Indigenous woman sit on Scouts Canada's National Board of Directors. So every time I'm asked about my project, I always have two pieces of advice that I like to give other youth. One of them is to use your passion to make change. So for me, my passion was art and I turned my passion for art into service. So whatever you are passionate about, find a way to turn that into your service, into your project. Because if you love what you're doing, you're going to love your project and, you're going to, and people are going to feel that passion and want to invest in you. My second piece of advice is to not be afraid to ask others for help. If I wouldn't have emailed all of those random elected officials in those cold emails, I would have never gotten funding. I did get some no's along the way, but I also got a lot of yeses. So you have to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to ask. People want to support you. People love to support scouts. So just make sure you put yourself out there and ask the question. The worst you'll get is a no, but you'll also make some new friends and allies along the way.